So we've had a bunch of formulas that we've been um, using lately. This difference of the squares formula and the formulas for the square of a plus b and a minus b. However, there were two more formulas uh, that we had that went a little further into the realm of cubics, or third powers. And we had a formula for sum and differences of cubes. So what were these? They were as follows. Not quite as easy to remember, but if we have them handy, we can actually work in more than one direction, meaning that we can go from, say, something like this over to here, or something like this over to here. So let's maybe look at a little example. Let's say we have x cubed plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so first of all, you might think, hey, wait a second, I saw something very similar to this in another video just a little while back. A positive plus a positive could never be a 0, but this is x cubed, which could be positive or negative. This is not x squared. So if this was x squared plus 1 equals 0, I know right off the bat, boom, no solutions. Okay, but it's not. So what could we get from this? Well, I see it is a cube plus another cube, because 1 is a cube, it's 1 times 1 times 1. So by letting a be x and b be 1, I can now use this formula. I get x plus 1 times x squared minus x times 1 plus 1. Okay, so I can definitely see that this is going to be 0 when this piece or this piece is 0. So that's going to be one possibility. But this is also going to be 0 whenever we have x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0, which brings up the question, when is that the case? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to want some rule for telling me whether or not this is reducible. Because if I try to factor this, it certainly doesn't seem to be working with whatever I do. I need to have a plus 1, and if I make these both minus, I'm in trouble, because that's going to give me a minus 2x. And if I make them both plus, well, I'll still get a 1 there, but then I'll get a plus 2x. So this doesn't seem factorable. So one of the things we're going to want in the future is some method of figuring out whether or not a quadratic has solutions or does not have solutions. And we don't have that just yet. However, if the goal is just to factor as far as we can, or to factor as a sum of cubes, we've actually already completed the problem at this step. So, in the future, we want a rule for allowing me to know whether or not I can factor this further. But for now, we're going to have to settle with what we've done here, which does give me a solution, x equals negative 1.